right, everybody, let's take a look at some coping tankies, okay? So some of you uh, who follow my Twitter, my Twitter is at Demon Mama Real. You should follow my Twitter. I'm pretty, I, if I don't say so myself, I like to have a good time. Pretty funny on there. Um, but uh, I made some people pretty fucking mad yesterday, okay? So, oh, and actually I just got another quote retweet just a few minutes ago. Um, so like, let's just look at what I said, okay? Let's just do it, all right? So here we go. This is me, and here's what I said. At, at, at you know, a nice even time of day. And as you can see, uh, I was not ratioed. In fact, uh, nobody who commented on me basically got any interaction. It was pretty fucking funny, but don't worry, we'll get into that in a second. It, you know, it's a pretty solid dub. You know, basically uh, pulled the entire, uh, the entire viewer, viewer base of my sphere in that moment, which is pretty nice. Yeah, indeed, Grime Dango. Yeah, 2,400 likes is pretty fucking good for my shit, you know? But anyway, here's what I said. So many Marxist-Leninists straight up be like, bro, I hate de bourgeois degeneracy so much. Why can't people just secure the existence of our party in a future for revolutionary children? And for those of you in the audience who aren't very smart or, or don't listen that well, um, this is a reference to Nazis. Nazis have a dog whistle. It's not even a dog whistle. They have a creed that's called the 14 words. And uh, I made a joke. And the reason why I made this joke is because uh, I saw a bunch of memes from a pop, from a very popular Marxist-Leninist meme group. And basically all of them were just literally the same thing that conservatives do. Straight up, just anti-degeneracy shit. Yeah, so, you know. Um, and then I said, without fail, every Marxist-Leninist I've given the time of day to talk to ends up doing some hardcore genocide denial when push comes to shove about their favorite nation state. Let's stop pretending these people are leftist. They aren't. Their views aren't left in any material way. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Call me an enemy of the revolution again? Join the line next to conservatives calling me an enemy of God and morality and the Republicans calling me an enemy of the American people? How many revolutionary Marxist communist groups have to go belly up for the exact same re reasons? Leader turns out to be a mega megalomaniacal cultist sexually financially abusing young people, isolating them and then exploiting their labor before we say, nah man, this idea just doesn't work, okay? And actually, this was the, this was the group that I saw this is a 23,000 member, explicitly Marxist-Leninist group. This is a Marxist-Leninist group. Don't like it? BTFO. When will the polyamorous shut up? No hate speech or bullying. However, we fully encourage bullying the polyamorous. So this is just an anti-degeneracy group. And I was like, damn, these people really are indistinguishable from Nazis most of the time. And whenever you push them on it, they go, they just end up parroting almost identical talking points. It's really fucked up and it's actually really annoying. And I would really like to see uh, us like collectively move on. What do poly people have to do with leftism? That's a good question, nuts. And the answer is nothing, unless you're a conservative, at which point they believe that sexual degeneracy, they wouldn't call it sexual degeneracy. They would call it uh, maybe bourgeois degeneracy. They would call it maybe um, anti uh, or reactionary sentiment, but they believe that that's bad for leftism because they're conservatives, because their viewpoints are highly conservative. Yeah, red trads, they're bad. They're no good, it's just red fash. And they love to say that all the time. Yeah, bourgeois decadence is one they love to say, okay? So, um, yeah, so, Anyway, I just thought we would go through and see some of the stellar arguments that some of these um, Marxist-Leninists came up with to go up against me, just so you guys can see the like magnitude and caliber of the ideas that are, uh, that are on display. Are you guys ready to do that? I hope you are, because that's what we're doing right now. So let's start with this. Okay, we'll, we'll be generous. We're just gonna read the, first la the last few, okay? OP is kind of a shitpost, but part of my own personal theory is that a revolutionary generation must have a sense of urgency and selectiveness about their goals, as their children and grandchildren will not grow up in the same conditions to pursue revolution with the same enthusiasm. Well, the world changes. I don't know, I can't actually tell if this person is agreeing with me or disagreeing with me, but the reality is the world changes. You cannot have the same approach that the former generation did. It's just not gonna work. 
the world has changed a lot. That doesn't mean that the core critiques aren't like the core critiques of communism change over time, but rather that the strategy has to change. And also that sometimes we don't know if something doesn't work until it's been tried. And let's just say that Marxism Leninism has been tried a lot of times and the results have not been very good. Okay? Really? Really? Okay? Let's just let's just take a second and look at the cut at, at the the incredible amount of death and destruction and pain that was uh, that was uh, you know foisted upon the world by uh, communist powers that were explicitly a state that explicitly gave power to a select few people, some of whom ended up becoming explicit demo uh, uh, dictators. Simple as okay. If you think communists are anti-LGBT, you really need to brush up on your queer history knowledge. Before we flew the, cr the pride flag, we flew the flag of North Vietnam. The Gay Liberation Front were explicitly communist and allied with the Black Panthers and ML Party. It's this, is this multiple ones? I know I commented on this post already, but I felt the need to clarify just how wrong it is. It's not wrong. It, I never said that communists, notice this. This is things that they do all the time, okay? Uh, MLs, they pretend that Marxism-Leninism is the same word as communism. It's very convenient. Whenever whenever you're saying something bad about Marxist-Leninists, they pretend that you've said something bad about all of communists. And whenever you say something good about communists, they pretend that you're talking about Marxist-Leninists. Christians do this as well. Uh, let me give an example of how Christians do this. Have you ever noticed that... Um, that uh, evangelicals whenever people are saying like oh you know christianity is dying out they'll all of a sudden consider catholics christians they'll say nah -uh, there's billions and billions of christians in the world it's the most successful religion but then when they need to criticize catholics they're always like catholics aren't true christians that's what mls do identical fucking identical so yes have there been uh ml groups that worked with with gay people have there been pro lgbt uh uh ml groups yes there have been and there's also been a incredible amount of anti lgbt sent lgbt sentiment propagated and upheld by ml leaders and groups to an incredible degree and what we see now is that it's largely mls that are pushing this anti-sexual de degeneracy thing among the left because they're not leftists and S. Main says one of the pro LGBT things that MLs did that comes to mind is the USSR decriminalizing homosexuality under Lenin, but it was returned to being criminalized when Stalin came to power. And guess who, guess what? Marxism Leninism was created by Stalin. That was his ideology that he coined. Interesting that, isn't it? Equating Nazism with Leninism is Holocaust denial. Hmm, that's interesting. How curious. Okay. Damn, a whopping 25 from that. Damn, these MLs, they're really winning. They're really changing the world. Add a few of them then, since there's so many. Oh, I could list you so many names. I could list you so many names. I'm not going to because I don't care. But I could. In fact, no, you know what? I'm showing you them right now. I'm showing you a ton of these people right here. A lot of people here. But if you really want, look, they're saying who? Link them. You guys want me to list them off? All right, here we go. Ready? I'm going to list off some of the MLs who do exactly this shit. Okay, ready? Caleb Maupin and the entire CPI. Okay, there's one. Ready? Here's another one. Um, Mel is another great one on here. Let's talk about another one. The Communist Party of Canada. Uh, Communist Party of Canada is a great example. The Revcoms. That's excellent. Black Hammer. There's another one. Uh, let's see. Uh, the PSL. Hmm. So basically every major organization that currently exists that's an explicitly ML organization, these are some of the biggest names in Marxism-Leninism. And all of these groups have 
have not only platformed anti-LGBT sentiment, Luna Oi, there's another one, Haas, Jackson Hinkle, all of these Pat Socks who've become incredibly popular. Oh, let's talk about another group. What about Red Scare? Those guys are Marxist-Leninists. Communist, oh yeah, the Communist Party of Great Britain, which literally put out turf propaganda on their, whole, on their main page, Bay Area. For as small as he was, he did have his moment in the sun. Um, who are the other MLs out there? Unruh? Isn't Red Scare funny though? I don't think so. There's just a couple examples since you guys required me to, um, oh yeah, Esha Legal. You guys remember Esha Legal? Esha Legal is like one of the most popular posts and literally, literally does Holocaust denial. Like not just, not like made up brain worm ML Holocaust denial. Yeah, Hinkle was on Tucker the other night and Hinkle has only been carried to fame because of the small group of, M of, of rabid MLs that follow behind him. Yeah, historically. Socialist MMA, there's another example. Basically all of the MLs. Oh wait, Peter Coffin, there's another example. Basically every ML individual uh, that, I, that I've engaged with has engaged in some of the most disgusting uh, anti-LGBT and, uh, and explicitly genocide denial. Every ML, even people who are just friendly to MLs are doing fucking uh, 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 war denial. Uh, about I don't even know if that's the right word. What is it when you when you say that like Russia isn't doing anything bad? Is that genocide denial? It's 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 unbelievable. I could you you give me an ML and I bet I can find them doing genocide denial in that quick. Yeah, war crime apologia. There you go. Anyway, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep seeing these molding, molding ones. There's a lot of the who link them. Very easy to do. Very easy to do. This is the pinnacle of making up a person. No, I just named a series of, like, this is all they say. They like to say that I'm making up a person. But the reality is that I've had multiple conversations with MLs on my channel, live shows, which you can go back through my channel and watch when they happened. And that's what happens. This is what happens every fucking time. Every ML I agree that I end up talking with, I can't end up agreeing with them because they end up doing fucking massive. And I'm not, I'm not just saying like little things. I'm saying they refuse to acknowledge that, that, uh, that, that obviously imperialistic states are doing imperialism that are, that are putting out oppression and are hurting their people. They just pretend it doesn't happen. Yeah, uh, I, 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 have a, I have an interesting suspicion about that, Gayfesh. Pat Sox really poison the well so much with their bullshit that people really think this is what Marxist-Leninist believes. It's because they do. You think the Pat Sox were the first ones that acted like this? I didn't. I already had beef with all the Marxist-Leninists well before the Pat Sox were a movement because I had multiple conversations where I just tried to get to the bottom of why, why Marxist Leninists would make excuses and apologia for horrific war crimes, for genocides committed by ostensibly communist states. This is true, by the way. People may not like to hear it, but many MLs genuinely fucking despise drug users and want them dead and simply refuse to listen to any science on harm reduction or public health. That's fucking true. I don't know what that means. Making shit up. Damn. Do you see how good, like, man, these, these MLs are like at the peak of their game. Have you guys been convinced yet? I can't believe I got so intellectually blown out by all of these highly intelligent MLs who got mega triggered at me saying the truth about their fucking shit ass movement. Huh, you're just making it up.
this thread every single week, but people will overlook the wild amounts of sex pests, anti-Semites, nepotists, and outright collaborations with fascists among anarchists and other segments of the left. Really? That's not the way I see it, because the what I see is fucking anarchists are constantly, constantly fighting with each other because they're because they're willing to call out bad behavior. In fact, MLs make fun of this about anarchists. They're like, anarchists are always fighting with each other. And the reason for that is because anarchists are extremely willing to call out bad behavior on, on behalf of people who, who name themselves leaders. But again, I doubt, I doubt this person follows, wait, I know for a fact, I have no shared follows with this person. This person doesn't actually follow or engage with any anarchists. I bet if we went through their follow list, I bet they don't even have a single anarchist on their list. I bet it's all just fucking... Let's take a look. The Korean Herald. Is this a North Korea news article, a news thing? They, they're, they're following a, 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 a Karl Marx quote account. All right, here we start getting the flags. Oh, Chinese government officials, Chinese CEO. Singapore government, Vietnam news, Vietnam state news. Well, impressive, very impressive. Impressive, truly, I'm blown away. Says the anarchist with no coherent politics. Really? Have you ever watched my show? I'm actually quite willing to extend to great lengths. Yeah, whatever. Great, like I said, they're sending their finest. Leftists hate children and the family. The family is one of the first institutions they always attack. Huh? What? I don't know, I don't speak this language, so I don't know what that means. God, it's almost like it's not a bad thing to want a good future for your kids. Also, the critical difference here, Marxists want to secure a future for everybody. Oh yeah? What about Chinese? What about, what about, what about indigenous Muslims? What about Chinese Muslims? You think so? Yeah? What about Ukrainians, huh? You're comparing them to white supremacists who only see white people as worthy, which is just so strange and absurd. Damn, wouldn't it be a shame if the, the like largest communist country on earth, China, had a huge problem with Han Chinese supremacy? Ooh, that would be uncomfortable. That would be uncomfortable, wouldn't it? Are these MLs in the room with us right now? Yes, literally, I'm looking at you. You have a hammer and sickle in your bio. I wonder, hold on, let's just, I wonder what this guy's tweeted about, I'm just curious. I'm curious to see what this guy's tweeted about. Ratioed by based anti-Zionist DPRK. Wow, that took what, four tweets? I scrolled down five, five tweets, four tweets for them to start doing North Korea standing. Damn. Damn. Well, look, at least they care about circumcision. I'll give them that. All right, let's continue. If you're going to do to critique an ideology, the least you could do is know the principles and history of said ideology. That's funny you should say that because I've gone through great efforts to, to understand where Marxist Leninists are coming from. I've even read many of the books that they recommended to me, and I find it bullshit. It is fundamentally, the, the, the ideology is fundamentally flawed. It is structured in a way to continue to perpetuate authoritarianism. They call themselves auth left. Hey, I don't know anyone like that. Either you pulled that out of your ass or you're going by Facebook brain rot, which is foul play. I'm going by every single interaction with Marxist Leninists, every single one on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. It seems like the brain rot is all over the place. Really weird. You are a petty bourgeois political streamer with a liberal understanding of history and no knowledge of how the world works. Shut the fuck up.
Wow. They got me. My whopping uh, $20,000 a year income from being a streamer. I'm petty bourgeois. That's right. You know me. Small business owner mama. Definitely, you know, I own three, four restaurants and have, you know, 40 employees. Petty bourgeois me. Definitely raking in, you know, nearly a million dollars a year. Totally. I'm a high roller. Super bougie. Me drinking fucking Coca-Cola out of a out of a mason jar, buying most of my clothes at at fucking Goodwill. Definitely, you know, bourgeois. Continue. So many anarchists straight up be like, "Bro, I love slang saying slurs so much." Okay, they got me on that one. To be fair, I do like saying faggot a lot. I refer to myself as a faggot all the time. But that, but like faggot and tranny are like the only slurs I really care about. You know? You know, fair is fair. I've never heard a Marxist Leninist say anything like that. Wait, let's see. Let's just check. Let's just check this person's, uh, real quick. Let's just see. Maybe they have that. It's all queen things. All right, nothing there. Who says this other than straw Stalinist you've invented to pander to your audience? My audience got mad at me because I was too friendly to MLs. Thank you, Demon Mama. Very cool. Ooh, did they follow it up with some transphobia? It's always the dumbest YouTube people who do this. The most disproportionately Jewish political movement in the world is the real Nazis. Goof. It's a good time, and if you oppose it, you'll probably get hexed or something equally as Crayon Core. Oh. Oh. Sometimes you just, you know. Here's another coping and seething. Baby Stalin. Goofy Stalin. Yeah, I bet this person isn't a Stalinist. You know, it really, it truly, truly undermines your point when your name is Goofy Stalin, Baby Stalin, and you have a joke in your bio about being a born-again Gaddafiist. Yep. All right. Pat socks have been around for like five minutes, so I sort of cannot believe these people are making an honest mistake conflating MLs with them. Bro, who do you think inspired the Pat socks? It was the MLs. Do I know you? Nope, and you never will. Here we go. What was he smoking? Nice. Here's just a... I don't know what this means. Cringy liberal, his baseless arguments, the unstoppable tide of Marxism. All right, you want to just you want to you want to just do a gamble on that? I love people like this. I want to just see. I want to see the rise of Marxism. Where is it? Where is where's the Marxism? Where are the revolutionaries? Where are all of those these communist Marxist Leninist res revolutionaries? Why aren't they fucking up shit? Where are they? Huh? Continue. Same-sex marriage allowed in Marxist-Leninist countries remains zero. I be I don't know if that's true. Yeah, I did see jerk off Stinkle. I wonder if being a streamer makes you an idiot, or is it a profession that attracts the dumbest people? No, the profession that attracts the dumbest people is Marxist-Leninist grifter. That's why all of your grifters keep getting fucking blown the fuck out, even though they have the most gullible. Uh, the gu most gullible and vulnerable following you could possibly imagine. People like, uh, people like fucking Caleb Maupin, whose idea is, oh yeah, basically, why don't I just rope a bunch of homeless people, homeless 18-year-olds, into slavery. And sexual slavery, in fact. That's, that's your profession. I've found it the worst tweet. Excellent, excellent. 
This is so embarrassing. The dumbest shit I've ever read today, and I've read stuff from Haas today. Maybe you should read it again. It sounds like you might have a problem. This is like five assholes on Twitter with 200 followers each. Nope, not even close. I already named a bunch of accounts that have fucking way more followers than that. This is mostly applies to the Pat Sock land back, blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't. These types of posts are so obnoxious. It's always made to lump anyone far left of anarchist. What? They can't even type this out correctly. I don't know how to help these people. I don't think I can. We got another average liberal. Wow. Like I said, top notch. To just top notch. Real and not made up Marxist Leninist. Hey, at least this person owned up to it. Guilty. I've grown though. Hey, credit where credit is due. I'm glad you've grown. That said, there's one funny thing. Oh yeah, some people did this one too. So we'll go in here real quick. Oh my god, shut up, liberal. No one cares. That's literally all they've got. This means... DM, stop engaging in discourse for the love of God. You know MLs are going to bombard you about how their favorite imperialist superpower claiming to be a bastion of socialism is not a nation state. That's true. They will do that, and they did. Where are these Marxist-Leninists you speak of? In my comments. Very easy. Every time... I'm not denying your genocide of my brain cells. Well, I'm glad that I genocided your brain cells because it means that the world just became a better place. Wasn't it you who basically did a harassment campaign on Luna Oi? Oh my God! Oh my God! Luna Oi who literally told her fans directly to go falsely report my channel, but it was me who did a harassment campaign. Oh, oh, I love it so much. That's my wife you're talking about. Please say psych. No. Looks like someone's parents are upset with how school is going. What? Liberal critiques of Stalinism are always just dumb and abstracted moralizations. Absolute theoretical impotence. I don't even like, how do I respond to that? How do you respond to this when I'm, I'm talking about the fact that core to the theory of Stalinism is building up a vanguard party around dictatorial figures? They literally call it democratic centralism. All they do is say lib. Thank you, thank you, Twitch streamer. Not a Twitch streamer. I know it took time away from you debating Nazis and platforming their ideas to say this. Hey guys, do you guys know when the last time I had a Nazi on here was? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me when the last time I even had a conversation with somebody even resembling a Nazi was? Weird. Lol, people who haven't done anything ever. Good one. Oh yeah, and then of course, uh, Bad Empanada's 9,000th fake account. Uh, you made a video calling indigenous sovereignty not Nazism. No, I didn't. Literally made up. And then he links... Oh wait, he doesn't even link it. Yeah, he doesn't even link it. People literally ask for... Oh yeah, here it is. This is the one where I pointed out that Bad Mouse, all I said was that Bad Mouse is being racist when he says that, because, guys, oh god, this one irritates me so much. In Bad Mouse's video, he has an animation where he literally, visually lumps all Native American movements together, despite the fact that there is, they are not a monolith. Native American movements do not all agree on the same outcomes, but he says they do and he lumps them all together And he even gives them a single symbol that supposedly represents all Native Americans and I said that was racist And I'm right. It is racist. It's racist to be a British person who makes a video saying well actually Native Americans should have a single nation and then saying that Native Americans are all nationalists when many of them are explicitly not nationalists It's super racism. Anyway, he got really mad about that and said that I called Native American people Nazis, which is just made up so you know again quality 
Oh, here, here's this person again. They quote tweeted me the third time. No one cares what streamers think. To three hearts. Meanwhile, cumulatively what, like, I don't know, 6,000 likes on mine? Yeah. You know. Again, coping. But you guys want to see the best cope? You want to see the best cope? Hold on, let me see if I can find it here. Where is it? I know it's, I know it was responded to one of these. Hold on, where is it? Ah, oh, it's my favorite cope. It's, this is the real good one. Hold on, I gotta find it. I gotta find it. Oh wait, look, he did it again. Bad Empanada's in here two more times. He's obsessed. Ooh, we got some good ones here. Shut up, gringo, well done. Aren't you the anarchist who thinks communes can just have a dedicated biochemistry factory for producing medication? Oh yeah, that's totally what I said. White dork streamers should all be forced to break rocks in the hot sun. Nice, good, good one. If you just deny the great replacement theory, you're a genocide denier. Wow, I, hmm, hmm, I, I'm a little worried about what they might be into. But this is the best one right here, okay? Oh no, it's not down here. Oh shit, holy fuck, shut the fuck up and go outside. You are one of the loudest pro-fascists I've ever seen. Keep being loud about it, about it, but we'd all prefer if you'd shut up. Do you see how, do you see how stupid these people are? This is one of the loudest, I, uh, this is one of the most loudest fas pro-fascist posts they've ever seen. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Hold on, I gotta give you, I got, I gotta give you this one real quick. Hold on, let me find it real quick. Cause there's a real good one down here. And it made me great, it made me very happy to see, okay? And I got to share it with you before we go on to the next stuff. Here we go. Ready? So first of all, Mel, of course, we all know Mel, right? Uh, literally double my amount of followers, okay? Couldn't even manage a, uh, a ratio, not even close. Damn, you really love making shit up online for pointless Twitter clout, don't you? Let me just remind you of Mel, okay? When I knew Mel... What Mel would do is every single day, she would wake up, smoke weed, and go on, on to Twitch panels where she would tell people they should go do IRL act activism, and then she would promptly play League of Legends for six to seven hours before going to sleep and doing the exact same thing the next day. She had zero knowledge of the theory that she claimed to have read. She never read fucking any of it. And also, she never did any IRL ad, uh, 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 organizing either. It was all fake. It was all fucking made up. This bitch never left the house. Making shit up online for pointless Twitter clout is Mel's entire existence? Yes. She has nothing. It's it, like one of the most pathetic characters online altogether. Now look. I fucking love smoking weed every day, and I also love playing video games. But you know what I don't do? I don't go on around every day telling everybody, oh, you know, go out and do real world organizing, a thing that I've never done. I don't fake that. I don't fake that way. I'm very real. And it's interesting because that's basically, haven't you noticed that basically every tanky aligned person all they say is, go organize in the real world. And then you ask them what they're doing, and they're like, well, um, I signed up for a newsletter. I signed up for a, um, I signed up for a, a, a Marxist-Leninist newsletter, so I'm doing my part, you know. I really am. Yes, I did, secular socialist. So yeah, these guys are definitely not mad. The tankies are definitely not seething. And just remember everyone, the unstoppable wave of Marxism-Leninism is on the way. So don't worry, you'll be saved by the Vanguard party that includes uh, DJ Mule, Thought Slime, Mel, uh, historically, uh, uh, Caleb Maupin, and uh, Alexander Dugan, uh, uh, Putin, Vladimir Putin, mm -hmm. um, Huawei, the Chinese telecom corporation, because you know they're communists. Um, and yeah, that's about it.
So I, I just hope that you're ready. Because they're going to save you. They're going to come for you. Yeah, true sock done left. Liberalism. When somebody disagrees with you, sad face, not believing that every word Stalin wrote is automatically true. Well, listen, as we all know, I just want to do a little quote here. As we all know, it was proven that tankies suck in 1905 when Vladimir Ilyich Lenin stated the following. Tankies are cringe, my, my comrades. There you have it. It's simple as that. I'm just saying, look, this shit is pathetic. I find tankies genuinely embarrassing. And you know what? It would be really, really funny if it was actually true that like tankies did anything. But you guys remember, or at least the, those of you here who watched my um, Drama Mama episode on, um, on uh, Caleb Maupin's organization, you guys know what they actually do. When, when MLs say that they're organizing, what they mean is that they're sitting around. You know what? Let me just show you. Here you go. I'll just show you what MLs mean when you think of organizing, okay? Hold on. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. We're, I'm making you watch it again. This is what they mean. This is this what is they think organizing is. And by the way, you guys think I'm goofing around, but I'm not. I'm actually serious. This is what MLs are referring to when they say organizing. If you go and you read, this is from the mouth of the MLs who were dissenting against Caleb Maupin. So you can't even just blame it on Maupin here. When they talk about what they do at their, at their events, at their organizing events, they sit around, they read pamphlets, and then they self-congratulate endlessly that's it it's gigantic time wasting virtue signaling feel good liberal bullshit they do the same things that democrats do which is they sit around and throw fundraisers and drink crappy fucking catered food that's what they that's what they call organizing okay 90 fucking 9% of the time that's the only thing that these people do okay Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. I found more. Wait, Mel actually quote, quote tweeted me. Oh my God, she only got 261 likes on it. The words so many are doing much heavy lifting. You're one of the ones I'm talking about. Mel is specifically, specifically one of the ones that I'm talking about. You are the one that I was thinking of when I made this tweet. Sounds like they encountered a pat sock. Those guys are MLs. Oh, interesting. Damn, Mel, business is, business is not booming for Mel. I probably should feel bad, you know? You know, all of you are very lucky. Imps, my lovely imps, you are all very lucky because being imps means that you've been able to ride with me to watch so many shitty grifters try and go up against me and immediately just deck themselves in the face. How many have you all seen? Those of you, the OGs, you guys have watched so many fuckers, people way bigger than me, who just end up going against me for no reason at all because they have demon mama derangement syndrome. You've watched them just crash into me and lose. Hasn't it been wonderful?
Can someone explain how Keffels fell out with Marxism-Leninism? Yes. Keffels, um, Keffels was formerly a, mem a, 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 uh, a politician for the uh, Communist Party of Canada. Um, and Keffels left the organization um, after criticizing after criticizing um, leadership for uh, for basically gatekeeping uh, women and people of color out of positions of power and for uh, excusing um, and for excusing sexual uh, abuse. Uh, interestingly, just very recently, a massive expose came out against the Communist Party of Canada um, for just wanton sexual abuse throughout it. One of the things which Keffels cited as the reasons that she left the Communist Party. So interestingly, it's exactly the reasons that I was talking about. And it's funny because maybe, just maybe, the reason why I say the things I do about Marxism-Leninism is because when I first started this stream, being a, you know, pretty new to lefty spaces as a public figure, uh, I wanted to give people the benefit of the doubt. And as I gave them the benefit of the doubt, I felt more and more like they were a malignant, dishonest, and horrible type of pseudo-leftism. Keffels was pretty tanky for a while, but I've talked to Keffels about that. Keffels, um, I've talked to Keffels both privately and publicly, although we've never really had a conversation on this stream about that. Um, but Keffels, um, but Keffels has talked about it that that like the um, it's very religious. Um, hell, like just ask Keffels about it sometime. You guys can ask Keffels and hear it yourself. She's talked about how um, how reli how uh, religious it is. How they 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 literally encourage you to have pictures in your house of um, of like revolutionary figures. It's very very religious. So yes, people get pretty far into it, and while they're participating in it they usually do things similarly to one another. It's very extreme. No, Keffels is really smart. Like, I think really highly of Keffels. I mean, keep in mind, I grew up in a cult too. It was a different type. It was a Christian cult. And obviously I got out of that when I was, you know, in my early 20s. But like, I get it. I know how it can be if you're, if you're like social group is, and we also, we just read what Maupin did. Maupin based his organization off of other ML groups. Maupin was not some like rogue agent. He based the structure of his group and the way that he went about things about the, around the operation of other Marxist Leninist groups. All right, everybody. Again, that's all I got. That's all I got on the Marxist Leninist. So, hey, if you had fun listening to some definitely not mad pseudo leftists get really super triggered that I called out their organizations for what they are, smack the like button on my video and please subscribe because we have a lot of fun on this channel. And I like to call out uh, dishonest demagogues no matter what color they paint themselves, whether they're red fash or brown fash. I don't really care.